The 2024 Lok Sabha elections are now wrapped up with the seventh and final phase of voting covering 57 seats across eight states. The electoral process commenced on April 19th for the first phase followed by subsequent phases on April 26, May 7, May 13, May 25 and concluded on June 1st. Among the seven phases of the Lok Sabha elections, the fourth phase saw the highest voter turnout in terms of percentage, while the fifth phase had the lowest. According to the data released by the Election Commission, the first phase of the Lok Sabha elections held on April 19th for 102 seats across 21 states recorded a voter turnout of 66.14%. In the second phase, conducted on April 26th for 88 seats across 13 states, the turnout slightly increased to 66.71%, marginally higher than the first phase. For the third phase, held on May 7th for 94 seats across 11 states, the voter turnout was 65.68%. On May 13th, the fourth phase of the Lok Sabha elections was held, achieving the highest voter turnout among the first six phases at 69.16%. In this phase, 86 constituencies across 10 states went to the polls. The fifth phase, conducted on May 20th, recorded the lowest voter turnout in percentage terms at 62.2%. The sixth phase held on May 25th saw a turnout of 63.37%, with voting taking place in 58 constituencies across 8 states. In the seventh and final phase of the Lok Sabha elections on June 1st, the voter turnout was 58.34% as of 7pm, with the final numbers yet to arrive. Now, let's recap the absolute numbers. EC revealed, after much prodding, that around 11 crore voters exercised their franchise in the first phase. 10.5 crore voters in the second phase, 11.3 crore in the third phase, 12.2 crore in the fourth phase, 5.57 crore in the fifth phase, and 7 crore voters in the sixth phase. Jammu and Kashmir, which witnessed its first election since abrogation of Article 370, saw a record voter turnout of 58.46%. This is the highest poll participation in the region in the last 35 years. The Anantnag Rajuri Lok Sabha seat recorded about 54.84% voter turnout on May 25th. All three seats of Kashmir Valley, Srinagar, Baramulla, and Anantnag Rajuri witnessed record turnouts. Surprisingly, almost half of Bengaluru's eligible voters did not show up to cast their votes during the Lok Sabha elections on April 26th. Across Karnataka's 14 constituencies that went to polls on April 26th, the Election Commission reported an estimated voter turnout of 69.23%. However, the voter turnout in the three urban constituencies of Bengaluru, Bangalore Central, Bangalore North and Bangalore South was notably lower than the overall state average. The estimated voter turnout was 52.81% in Bangalore Central, 54.42% in Bangalore North and 53.15% in Bangalore South. In the 2019 general elections, out of a total 91.2 crore eligible voters, 61.5 crore citizens cast their votes, that is 67.4%. In 2024, the average voter turnout across all seven phases was 64.5%, with the final number yet to be ascertained. This summer, meet the magical mermaid at VGP Marine Kingdom from April 12th to May 31st.